Here we are, getting ready for this showdown between these two fighters should be a good one. I'm Todd Grisha. Alongside me, English fighting legend Johnny Nelson. The pleasure's always mine, my friend. It's time for our tale of the tape. Riddick Bowe, six foot five, 240 pounds with a reach of 81 inches. And up against him, it's Larry Holmes. Watch out for that reach of 206 centimeters. He's also 191 centimeters tall and weighed in at 103 kilos. What a weight difference. These two fighters are going to be in deep water. One has a size, has a weight behind it. The other is small, shorter, much, much lighter. Got to be fast, got to be sharp. Otherwise, you're out of there. This... So they stare. And Great to have you with us for this all action affair. We expect big things, and I don't think we're going to be disappointed. No stamina, no injury, but still throwing punches. Left counter scores. What a punch! I'd like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. You can really feel the buzz in the air tonight. So much hype here in this arena. It's so hot, it's so heated. There's a roof on here, you don't understand it. When you're working, when the noise is there, the pressure's on, you're thirsty, you're sweating, and you're getting under. You're on the wrong side of a beating. This can be a no fire on us. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. He misses with that jab. Fantastic punch. Good counter left hand there. He just misses with that jab. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Bo. That was almost a 10-8 round, complete dot. And there's the bell for round two. Now there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. Sluggers just want to mow you down. They want to walk straight through as though you do not exist. You've got to be fit for this one. And he misses with that jab. Good counter punching from both these fighters. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You find the swarmer, you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Ooh, Larry Holmes just got dazed. They've avoided catastrophe there. exchange here from both men this round could go either way 10 seconds to go let's talk a 
about Bo? Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. That left counterpunch will score. And he will hold here. And good thing he did because he was getting beaten up. Have to hold on, getting hurt every time the punch is run. He missed with that jab. He misses with that jab. Let's see if these two heavyweights decide to exchange bombs early or decide to box a little bit. Guys that carry so much power, of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. They figure out the combination to this sink. Good one. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. This has been a very competitive round between these two. He just missed with that left jab. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Down her right. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. The perfect counter lands. Talk about Bo. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. And there's the bell to start round four. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Better be careful. The referee may take a point if he keeps clinching. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. So you're getting in there with someone that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get in close. Good counter punch. He blocks the hook. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. And Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done in the ring with fights like that, and you punch them, you just want to win. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? What a massive upset this would be. Good job trying to back out of trouble. Big Larry Holmes got rocked. Oh, I heard that never by saw it. Let's talk about Bo. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt. Things are starting to heat up now as we enter the fifth. Can they seal the deal in this round after what we saw just a minute ago? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down.
You can see he does not like being grabbed onto. Nice punch. We wanted action and they are delivering. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. And we've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you? This fight has a real good flow to it. Larry Holmes is going down, and he's got to get up. One, two, three, four. Well, they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. Let this fighter realize we're always looking for that. The cut doesn't look that bad, but they're going to take a look at it anyway. Okay, are you all right? Are you okay? Yes, sir. We fight on here. Talk about Bo. That'll be a 10-8 round for... Let's start the six. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. And a counter left. Jab does not score. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there toe to toe with them and have a terror. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Missing with that jab. Well, the Eastern Assassin in some trouble here. And it appears they weathered the storm. How? I'm not sure. Trying to answer that. Defense here at all. This fight, a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Let's talk about Bo. Look at all that blood, but he still wants. There's the bell to start round seven. And we're back. What does this round have in store for us? Good work, the last round. Be smart. Don't get too braggadocious. You'll get turned over and walk into a shot. And that's the last thing you want. Nice job landing that left counter punch. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've got in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Nice offensive display, landing that left counter. This is not good strategy. Those punches are doing nothing. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. 
You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. That punch landed. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to... At some point, the corner needs to think about stepping in here. How are they still standing? This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Nice counter. Let's talk about both. Well, the cut man's got some work to do in this corner. My concern is the corner. Are they going to be too brave for their fighter? Don't get the jab. Don't get tied away. Wait, round, wait, on that. Relax, relax. Now, don't. And there's the belt for round eight. What a fight it has been so far. Wonder what we're going to see in this round. What a round. What have they got left? How can you get better than that? That is ridiculous. That's stuff you see on video games. Nice punch. That's a scoring left hand. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Oh, Larry Holmes now in some real trouble. Knocked down hard. I'm not sure that they're going to be able to get back on their feet here as the referee continues the count. Two. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. That counter shot lands. Ooh, Larry Holmes just got dazed. And they're down just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Final 10 seconds here, and I think he knows who's won this round. Oh my, the big fella just got rocked. Down goes Larry Holmes. Oh no, come on, get up. Get up, he can't be over. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're out. And you saw it here live, a knockout win. Congratulations. Accuracy, power, punch perfect. That must hurt.